Hello my friends, welcome back to the jungle. In this video I will update you on my latest project working title Lowering the Bar with the goal to make FPV racing easy and accessible for everyone. The first piece to the puzzle is my currently favorite radio, the Jumper T8SG V2 Plus. It comes in this nice pouch here and I've been using it for around two months now. I'm so happy with this thing. It does everything I need and a lot more. Very good part and build quality, super easy to use and program and quite affordable. To make the setup even easier, we will provide you with a model file that you can just drop onto the radio and all the settings will be done. Now this pile here contains parts for four micro quads that will look somewhat like a mix between these two. The quad on the right is my go-to quad for the last couple of weeks. The feature list is second to none in this size and it's super easy to put together. If you look under the hood, the flight controller and the camera are basically one module. So if you buy the unassembled kit, it will look like this. You'll get the flight controller and the camera together with a little plastic mount to keep it all together. And the only thing you need to do is get this little bag with rubber grommets and screws and screw the thing onto a frame. If you're a geek, Here's a couple of teasers for you. Betaflight running on F4 chip with OSD, telemetry and S-Audio. If this sounded like gobbledygook to you, don't worry. It'll be easy to set up and it flies awesome. Now, there's one part missing and that is the canopy. The camera is soldered and pinned on a lot better than on previous versions of this camera. However, I don't like to have it dangling in the wind, especially if a newcomer is flying this thing. So, as you can see, the camera sits a little further forward than on the other quad here. So, we need to redesign this canopy before we can start selling these kits. I'll make another video when it's done. The frames come in a whole bunch of different colors, so it's easy to see who is who if you're racing your mates. To complete a kit, you need also motors and propellers and uh, batteries. You also need batteries. Eight 255 milliamp MyLipo high voltage packs are part of each kit. So to build one kit, you need one frame, electronics, motors, propellers and batteries. Super simple to put together, no soldering required. To fly FPV you need quite a few other bits and pieces and to make all those easy and compact I have decided to include the lunchbox as part of the plan. If you take this box out of the box, it contains a power supply with US plug. It contains an AV cable and a power adapter. Also included are two linear 5.8 gigahertz antennas. Take them out of the box and then screw them on top of the lid here. Now it says version 2 here on the box, so I would expect a very well rounded product. However, I think we need to fix a couple of issues before I can start selling this box. Issue number 1. The antenna port is so close to the AV out port that if I connect the included AV cable, I can't screw on the antenna. What was that noise? 
I heard some some birds somewhere. Now the damn chicken are running around on the lower deck again. I really appreciate that you guys are laying an egg every day and are picking up all the spiders. However, the rules are clear. You live downstairs in the yard. Now, see, I don't cut their wings because I really think birds should be able to fly. But, yeah, see, they're pretty clumsy. Like, they, I'm not sure if they don't want to or just can't do it properly. I tried to train them, but yeah, they can't really fly very well. So let's get back on deck. Where did I stop? Oh yeah, why? how can this be that the AV outport is so close to the antenna? Did no one test this thing before it was released? I mean, I can probably find a narrower plug that'll fit in there, but really? Was there not any better position for the AV port than right next to the antenna? I don't get it. There's another minor issue. Look at this power cable here. There's no insulation at the back of the plug. <laughs> really, guys? That kind of doesn't make sense to me. Easy fix, but... Yeah, come on. You don't just leave the poles of a power plug exposed. That's just bad practice. Now, let me pack this stuff back in here before I show you the main issue that I have with this box. It doesn't work. I, you know, maybe I'm missing something, but I turn it on and it doesn't turn on. When I put external power into it, then it works. But when I read the description, it should have an internal battery. See, with external power, it turns on. But when I pull the plug, nothing. I ordered a second one, which works or doesn't work exactly the same so not sure if i'm doing something wrong i even messaged the support and they said no nah, you just turn it on and it should work i charged both of them for eight hours but yeah as soon as i pull the plug nada it's kind of strange Works just fine. It gets external power. On off, on off. But no external power. Doesn't do a beep. Yeah, I hope that I'm either missing something or these two are just duds. I ordered two more. I hope they arrive today or tomorrow. Yeah, I really hope I can get these lunch boxes to work. Maybe I'm just holding them wrong. If you have any questions or comments, you may ask them in the comment section below. See you later.